this video is going to be kind of a companion piece to the um, Google Bulk Texture. However, it's going to concentrate on the Excel spreadsheet um, component. Um, I'm trying going to try and make this as simple as possible for people who struggle with Excel spreadsheets. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to export from the My Progress tab. We'll export the uh, table and we'll open it up and I'm not going to actually use this one because I want to didn't want to use the last names of all my students so I have this one and so when it comes up what we're going to do is we're going to take our cursor in this little triangle here and we're going to um, completely co um, copy everything and we're going to take this cursor again into the A B in between the A and B columns and we're going to spread out the spreadsheet. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to separate the names, the first names and the last names. So we need to open up a column and we're going to cl click on column B and right click on it. Just right click on your mouse and hit insert. Go back to column A and up in the home page here, click on data and then text to columns. Now, if it's delimited, such as commas or tabs or something like that, um, we'll want it there for our purposes. Uh, other ones may be fixed with such as spaces or something. So we want delimited. We're going to hit next and it's delimited by a comma. So we're going to click on the comma. Okay. Click next. Everything looks okay. First name, last name. And there it shows up. Now, if you want to send a text with the students' names non-capitalized, that's fine. You don't have to do anything else. You can go ahead and you can skip this next part that I'm going to do. However, what I, I like to do is I want to make sure, especially if I'm sending a text to a parent, I want their child's name to be capitalized. So what I need to do is I need to open up two more columns. So I'm going to click on columns C and D, and then I'm going to right click again, and that's going to give me the two extra columns I need. So in order to make this first one, Trey, make his um, name capitalized, so you need to put in a formula. And the formula is real simple. It's put your, uh, highlight the cell you want, and just put equal, and then the word proper, capitalize. Now, Trey is in column B2. So I'm just going to put a parenthesis, B2, close it, and hit enter. So now trace capitalized. Now I want to do everyone else. You, there's several ways you can do this. You can grab the little um, square here and pull it down or you can just put your cursor on there and double click and it'll do the whole the whole column for you. So now the problem with this is, is that if you left it like that this is what they would see on the text, okay? So what we want to do is we want to highlight all of this again, right click, copy. Now go over to the next column, D, right click, and see this right here, paste options? If you don't see it, there should be something that says values. And that's what we want, values. Because now look up in the, the bar here, there's tray. Here it's still proper. So now that we have the va values that we want, we can take the B and C, highlight them, and delete. Okay? 
Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get the phone numbers. Remember in Google Text, it's the phone number, comma, and then any of the text or verbiage that you want after that. So we're going to go over here <clears throat> on mine. I have it on column G. I'm going to highlight it. I'm, you can copy or cut. I'm just going to cut it because once I bring it over here, and we want it in front of column B, so we still highlight column B and then put insert text cells. That way, I do a cut, that way it gets rid of it, it cleans up the, the spreadsheet a little. Now we still need to do one more thing in order for it to be ready for Google Text, and we need to put in a comma. So what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight uh, column C again, put insert, and then go to that cell, and once again you can either pull the handle down or Make it real easy, just double click. So now we have the phone numbers, we have the comma, we have the student's name, and now we need another column in order to start sending text. So I'm going to insert a column, and this is where we'll start our text. So let's say we'll make it a very easy, generic thing. Trey. Uh, you have completed 41%. Now, I want him to know his grade. I don't need him to know these things, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I need another column in here because I'm going to tell him, Trey, you have completed 41.82%, and your grade is... I'll even put the percent sign there, and your grade is 50%. Okay. So <clears throat> this is just like I said, a generic thing. You can go through and um, you see some of these kids who have a uh, lower completion rate, you can add different things, but those are things you can figure out on your own because now you've really basically just did the whole text. Okay? So now we have Trey, you have completed 41.82% and your grade is 92.09. I'm going to add one more thing in here. Just a simple keep working, and then add my name. And we'll do it for that. Okay, now we're really all ready to go. What you can do is you can take all this stuff and you can, let's say, um, you're ready to send it. Um, even with all the spaces, you can do that. And I can show you. We're going to just highlight these. I'm going to highlight and copy. And I'm going to check it out here. And I can put that in. Now, you, like I said, you can do that. However, there's a lot of spaces there. Um, I prefer not to do that, especially if I may have a longer text, and especially, again, if I'm sending it to a parent. So what I do, um, which I had mentioned before in um, the previous video, um, this add-on that's called AbleBits, um, this specific um, product that I use is Merge Cells. Uh, it costs $30. Uh, you get two licenses for it, though, so you can put it on two computers, so you may want to split it with somebody. But I think it does a really nice job of really cleaning everything up. Um, sorry. And now it's just one click there, and then you tell them to merge columns into one. And there you have it. 
Now, if I want to go back, we can see that there's a lot less empty spaces there. So that is the way to use the Excel spreadsheet in order to facilitate um, texting a lot of kids and parents. You can see uh, if you're making it this simple, it's really easy to do all of them. Um, I could take this and I can make it merge there and I could take them out. I wouldn't do more than 50 or 60 at a time. I've had some people say that they couldn't get more. I've had problems where I couldn't get more than 60 or 70, but if you send them in 50 um, email at a time, you, you should be fine. So that's the using the Excel, the simple version. If you have any questions, please let me know, okay? Thanks.